everything right and the shit can still be fucked up. Now, mm -hmm. doing everything right and still having things blow up in your face, that's, that's, uh, it's more likely to happen here in the States than anywhere else, but nothing comes without risk. Mm -hmm. And there are so many guys in this community who want a completely risk-free girl. She's gotta be a virgin. I, I'm not committing to anyone who's not a virgin, uh -huh. who's not hot, who doesn't know how to cook, mm -hmm. who doesn't have daddy issues. Well, like, guess what? Now, now we gotta break out the Myron, uh, now we gotta break out the fresh and fit delusion calculator because those girls just don't exist, fam. Well, yeah, and it's like, you can even get a, a virgin, <laughs> but the virgins, of, I said this earlier, the virgins of today aren't the virgins of yesterday. No, they're not. They are the, curious. They're, yeah, they're curious. And I, I've heard story after story after story of like, oh, I, I had a virgin girl and then like she started to get curious and she left. There you go. And I know like the stat is like that virgins have an 80 percent chance of a happy marriage but i'm like that's if you get them down the aisle if you, <laughs> you know, like, and, and, I, and, I, and i and i'm pro like waiting like i think that's great I'm, yeah I, and i would say if that's like that that's probably your best bet if you can get one but like yeah good good luck <laughs> It's it, it's it really it really is it's a sad state of affairs um, between men and women. But this is why this is why I, I do what I do because I want people to be happy. I want people. I want men and women to have. I want men and women to have good relationships. Mm -hmm. I really, really do, because I've lived that player life. And as much fun as it was, and I say this all the time, as much fun as it was, my life is ten times better than it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I will, dude. The the Las Vegas was a magic carpet ride, <laughs> but it really, really was, dude. Oh, dude. I don't think I've ever been more excited. Dude, 95% of the girls I have ever banged right there in Las Vegas, that, that's really where I became who I was. But but what it comes down to is that there are costs to that lifestyle. A half a million dollar legal bill that I had to pay for all of the trouble that I got into. I snorted my weight in I snorted my weight in Coca Cola while I was there. I don't can't tell you how many thousands of dollars I blew on that. Chasing girls to do this and and it, it was really just kind of a waste of time. But there's something to be said about being in a good relationship with a woman that you really do love mm -hmm. and not not necessarily trust, but trust that she will follow your leadership because the player life is, listen, Myron and Fresh are exactly who I was 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. It was girls and car. I mean, dude, I've had all that, mm -hmm. you know, and it's a great time, but relationships meant, uh, mm -hmm. Kevin says this all, as he used to say this all the time, men and women, we're better together, man. Mm -hmm. We are so much better together. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we've never been worse. And it's, mm -hmm. I, this is why I exist. I want to show guys, hey, you know what? Mm -hmm. It's a lot harder than it used to be. And it's it's next to impossible to have the, the kind of relationship that satisfies both the man and the woman. But, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I got to keep, I got to keep fighting the good fight. Yeah. And all you can do is like work with what you got and move forward. Yeah. That, that's, yeah. That's, that's, that's what I'm doing. 304 to wife school for the, for the hoes that want to be better. <laughs> <laughs> Some of y'all are stuck in the streets forever. If you want to be, oh, the, the streets and, is and, cold. And I will, I won't ask you to do anything that I have not done. I, I'm, I'm trying to learn to cook better. I'm trying to learn to cook better. <laughs> I will not. I will not ask you to do anything I have not done. <laughs> so this hoe to housewife school is this going to be a spoof or is this going to be for real? Um. Well, I have kind of to, both. Yeah, I have to make it entertaining. Of course. You know, like I can't. Of course. I I can't spend money on something and not record. No, of course not. Of course. But I mean, my hope, like I kind of, I'd like to do the housewife training. And then I'd like to do like a matchmaking at some point. Ah, that, that this is what Kevin. This is what Kevin evolved into on the back end. There oh. are, yes, oh yes, he's telling me all the time. There are there are people within his Facebook uh, community. I think he I think he ended up introducing eight couples, yeah. husbands and wives, and they owe their relationship because Kevin said, "Hey, we have men who are traditional, and there there are women who want to be traditional. They got together and they made it work. So, yeah. and the reason why they trusted him is because of his track record and credibility. Well, yeah. it's the same thing with you. Yeah." So that's, that's my, I have actually a whole, like, like forms of people that sent me their information for matchmaking. What? Yeah. Wow. I, I started collecting them just to see, um, I wanted to see like how, what, like what the, the, the men options were a lot better than the women. I won't lie to you. Of course. Um, yeah, yeah. Of course. Someone of course. told me they're a 30 year old virgin. I'm like, stop it. Oh, <laughs> like, give me a break. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. I'm like, girl, like, could you just lie? <laughs> like, like, yeah. Right. Like, 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 could you lie better? <laughs> like lie better. Yeah, come on. Like, 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 like you, like, you don't have to, a 30 year old virgin, like, listen, at least tell me you've got a body count of 10. Don't tell me you're, <laughs> don't tell me you're a fucking virgin. Like, give me a break with that. But, but I was like, uh, but I don't know. I, that, that's, I have to like do 
do things like that's that's a down the line that but, sounds exciting yeah. it really really does yeah. oh my god can you imagine and this is probably something that uh, Devin and I could do um yeah Vaughn says I'm pissed I didn't get the notification yeah this this channel is the Nas Wodab I can't say it out loud but uh, it's obvious that it is SB. Um, I would like to, obviously this will happen when, when, we, when we move out West, but yeah, do like a matchmaking, whatever, uh -huh. uh, and then have it, you know, have it in a live stream. And okay, yeah. this is Michelle and this is Michael. Michael, Michelle, welcome to the whatever show this is. So uh -huh. Michelle, tell me about yourself. Da -da 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 -da. Michael, tell me about yourself. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? Blah, blah, blah. Like, I think that would be entertaining. You could, you could analyze it too and oh, say, oh my game, God, oh my God, game, oh my God. That would be so cool. She like... <laughs> So, Michelle, uh, what happened in your last relationship? Oh, he was toxic. He was evisuba. He was blah, blah, blah. Really? What happened? Well, he was, phys he put hands on me. Oh, okay. Um, did how you long put did hands he on him? Did you put hands on? Stop it. Stop it. I, I don't believe women anymore. <laughs> I used to believe women. I used to. But and now so, you don't. No, I, of course I'm not. like, they I've all had use so the many same girls. Story. Yeah, I'm like, I've had too many girls on my show that they, they've they all been abused. Yes, all and of them. And you have all this trauma, but why didn't you go to the police? There you go. I'm sorry, if you it, uh, Donovan, if you punched me in the face, I would be at the police station. I'm going to I'm gonna I, disagree. If I punched you in the face, you would not be at the police station. You'd at probably the be at the hospital. <laughs> yes, you would. I, not that I would. Not that I ever would. I will. I, okay. Just on the there, record, there, I will never punch if I, if I made it out, I would. <laughs> I'm a tattletale. I am going to the police. I am pressing every possible charge. And they're like, no. Oh, I loved him. And I'm like, what do you mean you loved him? He was punching you. Yes, and yes. I'm like, And I'm like, it doesn't make sense because if he was really abusing you, like, where is the, like, an average guy could beat the shit out of you. Oh, easy, easy. So I'm like, this doesn't, like, two plus two, two equals four. This you're doesn't right. equal, and you you were so afraid of speaking up, but you're you're coming on my podcast? You're telling 15, dude, this is the interesting thing. Yeah. And I actually called this out. I, I've, I've been on Fresh and Fit countless times. And every girl says, yeah, I was in an abusive relationship. And I said, okay. And I asked one girl, I was like, oh, really, abusive. So did he put hands on you? Yeah, he put hands on me. Okay, all right. How much time did he get? What are you talking about? You went to the cops, right? Well, no, blah, 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 blah. And I said, okay, so wait a minute. I didn't want to go to the cops because there was a stigma. I said, okay, so wait a minute. You had trouble going to the cops and telling them that you were being abused. Mm -hmm. You had trouble with that, but you have no problem telling 12,000 live viewers your harrowing experience. Dude, it's all cap. It's just like the EPAR thing. If a girl, and I'll explain. Mm -hmm. If a girl tells you, I was in an abusive relationship. She is radioactive because if she's lying and she probably is, that means she might accuse you of doing something like that. If she's not lying, if she really was in an abusive relationship, then we know she has serious ju ju uh, judgment impairment because she stayed with an abusive guy. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing as EPAR. How many girls say that they were EPAR spelled backwards? I want to stay away from that word. There are so many girls who claim to have been EPAR and the definition is so subjective. It's such a wide definition. You know what? Actually, I was EPAR three years ago, blah, 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 blah. It's absolutely ridiculous. So if a girl tells you, well, I was EPAR, she's radioactive because if she's lying, she could accuse you of EPAR. If she's not, She's damaged beyond repair. Girls have, and, and it's always the same story with these bitches. Why did you leave the relationship? He was abusive. How long were you with him? Four years. Okay, now there's a problem. And girls don't seem to be doing the math here. And it's like you're getting beat up for four years. And they don't talk about it. a lot of times they hit him first. Yep. It's not, it's not, that's, yep. that, you're not being abused. Yes. You're hitting each other. That's right. Stop it. You want, listen, Stop it. you weren't in the kitchen making pancakes with your, with your flower apron on l looking like June Cleaver. Your husband comes home, ties a few off, puts you in a headlock and DDTs you. It does not work that way. Mm -hmm. It always take, now, are there, are there some sadistic abusive men out there? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I, I, I totally get it remove yourselves from that situation. Mm -hmm. But women who have truly been in abusive relationships mm -hmm. have a lot of problems talking about it because that's real trauma, mm -hmm. real tra It's so funny, these girls talk all about this. I have trauma, trauma, trauma. Why are you able to just, why are you able to just, you know, uh, uh, just just be an open book to brag a bunch of strangers? It. Yeah, they brag about it. It's unbelievable, man. No, and it's, uh, yeah, I, I, that's one thing that I've been red pilled on the last six months. Oh yes, is like God, these hoes be lying. Yes, I'm like there have been too many of you. And then when you ask questions, all of you. Oh yeah, their story falls apart. Yeah, it like yeah. falls apart. I'm yep. like, so what? What happened? Like, how did that happen? And you never, you never, they, you never hit him. Right, right. And, and then it's like, well. 
but, and I'm like, mm, this And then they it. talk around the story. It's a bunch of fluff. No, no, what happened? You said he was abusive. What did he do to you that was abusive? Did he mm. put hands on you? Yeah, okay, give us an example. They never can. Oh, right. I'm going to use that next time. Can yeah, give, give me an example. Yes, give me an example of when your ex-boyfriend put hands on you and just shut up. And if she told you the story, okay, and what does it say in the police report? Mm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, dude, you can checkmate these bitches. I remember there's this one girl on the Fresh and Fit podcast. I actually did a breakdown. She talked about how she was in a physically abusive relationship for four years. In the same hour, mm -hmm. she looked Myron Gaines in the face and says, I would fight you and I would knock you out. I remember saying, oh, so let me get this straight. Your boyfriend beat the shit out of you for four years, but you can you can kick Myron Gaines' ass, Homeland Security, FBI, all that good stuff. So I'm sorry, were you pulling your punches? Did you, were, you know what? I could kick this guy's ass, so I'm just gonna hold back. Come on, you can't you you, you can't be a victim and then unrealistic and delusional in the in in the same sentence. Mm -hmm. it, listen, if you if if you are being abused by your boyfriend, that's that's all well and good, but you can't then turn around and look another man in the face and tell me you knock him out. Yeah, and. I'm equal rights, equal lefts, baby. If she hits you, I give you permission to hit back. I yeah, I can't do that. I, yeah. If if a woman, dude, if a woman were to put, if a woman really were to put hands on me, I would I would have to leave immediately because <laughs> I, dude, like, dude, I have, dude, I've put two guys. <laughs> Boy, okay, here we go. You're 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 a lethal weapon. Yeah, well, well, I'm no, I'm I'm not anymore. I'm I'm older and weaker and slower, but. <laughs> Like I like two people, like two of my two of my felony convictions. These two guys had to have facial reconstructive surgery, oh right? And that's that's a male skeleton. I would, dude. I would literally. It would not. It would not be pretty. So if a woman were ever to the point where, I'd be like, whoa, I gotta get, I gotta get the hell out of here. Maybe I'll shove her on the bottom so I don't. Whatever. I gotta leave because if because if a man reacts, they have they have consequences. Yeah. The How to Relationship Podcast is now recruiting for Philadelphia. If you will be in or around the greater Philadelphia metropolitan area between April 28th and April 30th and would like to be a guest on the podcast, go to howtorelationship.net slash guest, take five to ten seconds to fill out a quick form and a staffer will contact you if selected. Link in description.